This is a real throwback week in terms of new films. One recalls the engrossing days of Masterpiece Theater, another takes a harsh look at reality, and a third puts you smack dab in the middle of a romance novel. First things first, Summerland. Unfolding like a multi-part miniseries, the story of friendship looks back on the life of a sequestered novelist played by Gemma Arterton. She lives in one of those dreamy cottages and doesn't really want to deal with people, much to the dismay of townspeople. When a young evacuee shows up on her doorstep, she's surprised, agrees to take him in, and is prompted to look back on her own past. Flashback to the 1920s when we meet the beautiful woman who stole her heart. Written and directed by Jessica Swale, Summerland tries to unpack a lot. It never puts away anything and at times seems destined for disaster. Swale doesn't provide it, but she does surround Arterton with a number of familiar British actors. Summerland touches on racism and intolerance, but it's not enough. In this era, plenty could be said, and in this case, it isn't. More interesting from a historic perspective is Cutthroat City, an unpreviewed film from rapper RZA. Said just after Hurricane Katrina, it follows four friends who've lost their homes, their jobs, and their money. Feeling abandoned, they decide to pull a heist in New Orleans, and when that doesn't work, they're the target of both detectives and a neighborhood warlord. Ethan Hawke, Wesley Snipes, and Terrence Howard are the big names in the film, but it's the four young actors playing the friends who bear watching. Because RZA has had considerable success providing music for other films, this could be the week's must-see film. On paper, Cutthroat City looks like a cautionary tale for everyone. A bunch of different names. And finally, if you're wondering how anyone could adapt a self-help book, we'll look at The Secret, Dare to Dream, a fictionalized path to happiness that stars Katie Holmes as a struggling widow and Josh Lucas as a mysterious handyman who comes into her life. Now, if you think this is close to all those Nicholas Sparks romances, you wouldn't be far off. The film doesn't include a PowerPoint of all the things you should do to be happy, but it does press the idea of positive thinking. It's sappy and predictable, but we knew that going in. So if you felt overwhelmed by events of the past few months, rip a page from The Secret. If you think positively, better movies could be on their way. With your Movies in a Minute, I'm Bruce Miller.